Dodge says the Durango SRT's 8-speed automatic, which distributes power to all four wheels via standard all-wheel drive system that can send up to 70% of torque to the rear wheels, has been specifically calibrated for the vehicle. Shifts can reportedly be cracked off in as little as 160 milliseconds, good luck beating that mark yourself, and there's a satisfying home to each one when you have the hammer down. Its suspension is bolstered by Bilstein adaptive dampers, 3% stiffer front springs, 16% stiffer rear springs, and an 18% stiffer rear anti-roll bar. The effect is a surprisingly agile package on track that offers a smooth and comfortable ride on road with minimal NVH aside from the engine soundtrack. A noticeable amount of body roll makes its presence felt on turn-in, but it's linear and easily controlled and certainly won't pull you off your line by itself. Slightly front heavy, weight distribution is 52 hours 48 minutes front slash rear. The Durango prefers to under rather than oversteer, but extra rotation can easily be induced when necessary. Steering feel is fairly absent, but there's enough resistance to tell that the SUV is doing what you want it to do and you can have some fun hustling it around a track. That the number of owners who will track the Durango SRT is going to be somewhere around zero is beside the point, unsurprisingly, it's an experience that's pretty similar to that of Challenger or Charger overall.